This is Gene Key, KDD News. Controversy is swirling in Amarillo following the third deadly officer-involved shooting last week. According to Amarillo Police on Thursday, 37-year-old Edward J. Brown was running from police when he pointed what officers thought was a handgun at one of the officers. Brown had actually pointed a replica of a handgun at police. Autopsy results show he died of a gunshot wound to the chest. That makes it the third officer involved shooting within a week. We want our officers to go home at the end of the day. We aren't about excessive force. We are going to use whatever force is necessary, said Corporal Jerry Newfield of the Amarillo Police Department. Texans are paying less for gasoline this week. AAA Texas reports consumers are paying about $3.30 and $3.50 a gallon, so it's a good time to take their first fall weekend vacation. The statewide average is down six cents this week to $3.38 a gallon. The most expensive gasoline average in Texas is in Amarillo at $3.47 a gallon. That's down six cents. The Partners in Paladuro Foundation hosted the Remembrance Celebration in Paladuro, Kenya this weekend, said Don Parker beat the deer high drumstick against the instrument and sang a song of Paladuro, Kenya. This is the place we love, he later translated. This is the home of our people. Don Parker is the great-grandson of Quano Parker, a Comanche chief who became the last Comanche leader defeated in the Indian Wars nearly 137 years ago. Quano Parker and his people travel from their final campground in Palatiro Canyon to Fort Seal, where they surrendered. The celebration took place in the canyon remembering this final surrender during the Indian Wars. Quana Parker's relatives currently are working on a project to mark the presence of the Quana Parker Trail in 52 counties across the Texas Panhandle and the High Plains with a giant arrow. This is Gene Key, KDD News.